Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our service here today, April the 19th. Uh, just delighted to be here with you and uh, I'm Pastor Leonard, Prospect Community Church. And we just want to welcome all our viewers uh, today as they tune into the service. Uh, just uh, as we look at our news, um, we know that this is going to continue probably for another four weeks. And so we're just going to come to you every week with uh, an encouraging message to encourage your hearts. And uh, before we uh, get into our service this morning, Richard's going to lead us in some worship. I just want to open in prayer. Heavenly Father, we do thank you and praise you, Lord, for your blessings upon your children. Father, that despite the storm around us, that we still can have peace in the storm. And the distractions around us, we still can have peace. Father, we pray this morning for all those that are viewing uh, this message today, Lord, in our service day. Lord, bless them, Lord. Father, we just pray for everyone that uh, is in the shutout as we are, Lord, that you'll just minister your peace and your joy into their hearts. Father, we thank you for the blessings that you've given to us, Lord. We pray for those, Lord, that are on the front lines, Lord, that are out uh, serving and helping the people, Lord. And we pray for all the essential workers, Lord, and all that are out there doing the work of God. And Father, we just thank you for that. We thank you and we pray for your protection upon their lives, Lord. Father, we pray for all the different homes, uh, Lord, as there's an epidemic, it's just all over the place, Lord. We ask, Father, that your healing virtue and protection will come upon those places, Lord. Father, thank you for our time together today, Lord. Bless each and every part of it, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, Brother Richard. Strength will rise when we wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. Strength will rise when we wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. Our God, you reign forever. Our hope, our song, deliverer. You are the everlasting God, the everlasting God. You do not faint, you won't grow weary. You're the defender of the weak. You comfort those in need. You lift us up on wings of eagles. Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. Strength will rise when we wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. Our God, you reign forever. Our hope, our strong deliverer. You are the everlasting God. The everlasting God, you do not faint, you won't grow weary. You're the defender of the weak, you comfort those in need. You lift us up on wings of eagles. The splendor of the King, clothed in majesty, let all the earth rejoice, all the earth rejoice. He wraps himself in light, and darkness tries to hide, and trembles at his voice, <clears throat> trembles at his voice. How great 
great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. Age to age he stands, and time is in his hands. Beginning and the end, beginning and the end. The Godhead three in one, Father, Spirit, Son. The lion and the lamb, the lion and the lamb. Name above all names, worthy of all praise. My heart will sing, how great is our God. Name above all names, you are worthy of all praise. My heart will sing, how great, how great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me, how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. Good morning, church family. It's my honor to come to you this morning with a word of encouragement, and I trust as you're sitting there in your living rooms that um, you're ready with your Bible in your lap, and I'm going to ask you this morning if you will turn with me to Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. It says, come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. COVID-19 has changed our lives, for most of us, from fast and busy to quiet and slow. And before the virus swept across the world, we were a people who were busy, perhaps we were tired out, coming and going at an alarming rate, impatient to a fault. We were too busy for this. We were too busy for that. Socializing was popular, and we did it without a second thought, planning our next get-together as a group. Some of us involved in book clubs, coffee clubs, ladies' clubs, men's groups, and we were a people who loved rubbing shoulders with one another. Always walking out the door to a new event, or perhaps some of us were hosting a new event, and we were a people that did not know maybe how to be silent or quiet or alone until now. Our world has been forced to do a 180, forced to self-isolate, to take shelter in our own homes, forced to wait in what seems like an unending lineup. We wait for groceries. We wait to gain entry once again into stores that have been forced to close. Waiting for that grand reopening. Many are waiting to go back to work. And we have been forced to eat meals at home with just the members of our close family, forced to wait for even our own churches to reopen, forced to have church in our homes in the confines of our living rooms. And so we wait. We wait not really knowing how long. We wait while the world around us reels from the trauma of a pandemic. So if you'll let me this morning, could I throw out a lifeline to you as we wait? And if you're feeling weary from all this, come with me again to Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Jesus calls to us. He says, come to me, every one of you who feels weary and burdened. And then he gives us a wonderful promise. I will give you rest. He knows what you're weary about. He knows what you're burdened with. He knows what's heavy on your heart. He knows the worry that 
feels like it's consuming your mind at times. He knows, and so he calls to us in the midst of our weariness. Come to me, because I, the Savior, your master, will give you rest. Let's turn in our Bibles to Psalm 23, verse 1 to, 3, 1 to 3. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. The truth found in the word of God provides rest for us. Rest for our weariness. The Lord is my shepherd. He looks after us just like the shepherd keeps watch over his flock, caring and protecting and keeping and doctoring and feeding and leading into safety, guiding to a place to eat and drink. I lack nothing because the shepherd is Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Therefore, we lack nothing because he supplies all our needs. He makes us lie down in green pastures. We lie down, relax, put our feet up. We take a relaxed, content posture because we know God is in control. He causes us to rest in green pastures, in a place of goodness and abundance. He leads me beside quiet waters, trickling, refreshing, clean water flowing down, soothing our spirits. Our shepherd leads us to refreshing, fresh waters, which refresh our soul. We all need refreshing. I don't know about you, but times of worship have always brought refreshing to my soul. And as I begin to let the music play and sing a song of praise and worship out to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, it's there in that intimate, personal time with the Father that I'm refreshed and renewed in his presence. A moment spent with Jesus changes everything. He guides me along right paths. He guides me to where I need to be, on a straight and safe path. A path that does not lead me into worry or a wearied state, not into danger. He leads me into paths of truth and holiness, into joy and peace. Let's turn to Philippians chapter 4, verse 7. And I'm going to read to you this morning, um, I'm going to read that scripture out of the New Living Translation. I like how it reads. It says, then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. His peace that passes all understanding his peace that blankets us, surrounds us. His peace that sustains us and keeps us because our minds are fixed on him. And lastly, let's look at Isaiah chapter 40, starting at verse 29. I was glad Richard led in worship those who wait upon the Lord. Isaiah chapter 40, starting at verse 29. He gives strength to the weary. How many of you need strength right now? I don't think there's very many of us who would say, oh no, I'm okay, I'm good, I don't need it. We need God's strength in this day that we are living in. He increases the power of the weak, hallelujah. An increased power, more power. I don't know about you, but I'll take more power. Other translations, and I love to read different translations, so I got out about six of them, and this is how that scripture reads. He gives power to the feeble, increasing the strength of, of him who has no force. 
He gives power to the tired and revives the exhausted. He invigorates the exhausted and gives strength to the powerless. He gives, and this, this one might be my favorite, he gives multiplied power and strength. He energizes those who get tired, gives fresh strength to dropouts. It says in Isaiah 40, even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall, but. I love when I read or hear the word but, because it means something is coming. In this piece of scripture, it says, but those who wait upon the Lord, those who hope in the Lord, those who trust in the Lord shall renew their strength. And I, I love the meaning of words. And so I went to the dictionary and I looked up the meaning of the word renew. It says, to make like new, restore to freshness, vigor, or perfection, to make new spiritually, to restore, to make extensive changes in, to rebuild, to do it again, to begin again. Wow, hallelujah, what a truth is in that piece of scripture. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. When we wait, trust, and hope in Jesus Christ our Lord, are you waiting this morning cloaked in peace and strength? Are you trusting this morning in the God who created the universe and knows each star by name? Can you imagine? Are you hoping in the very one who holds your future in his mighty hands? I trust that you are. And as you wait to be renewed and refreshed and draw, draw closer to the Savior, may God bless you this morning, church family. I trust that you've been encouraged. And I wanted to, to end, to close this morning with the blessing that's in Numbers chapter 6, starting at verse 24. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you his peace. And I'm going to turn it back over to Richard. Thank you, Judy. And I was looking at that banner that we have there, Wait on the Lord, Renew Your Strength. And I find that interesting, too, that because you love the word studies, this one for you, too. So when it says, Renew Your Strength, God says, I want to exchange your strength. You have strength, but it's little and it's weak. Mine is perfect. So God says, I want to give you my perfect strength. So that's uh, one reason I, I know it's an old hymn, but nevertheless, it's one of my favorites for especially prayer time, because when we come in prayer before God, we are in a position where we want God to hear us, we want God to favor us, to look upon us with his favor as the blessing has been given. Isaiah tells us, as we see on the banner on the wall here, that they that wait upon the Lord, they will renew their strength, and as I mentioned before, that renew can in the Hebrew also mean exchange. So your strength may be weak. You, you do have some strength, but it also may not be perfect. That may not be. It is not perfect. But God says, I can give you my perfect strength in your weakness. So obviously, when we, our strength is weak, then we are weak. So we need to wait upon the Lord. And wait upon the Lord, that's an art perhaps that has been lost among many people. It means more than just praying. It does mean waiting on the Lord. God, I want to hear from you.
They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach me, Lord, teach me, Lord, to wait. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach me, Lord, teach me, Lord, to wait. So we just want to again thank you this morning for uh, viewing uh, this service. We thank you, uh, Richard, for the music and Judy for a word of encouragement. And so we just uh, want you to encourage each other, pray for each other, and uh, don't be afraid to phone one another. I want to thank the people that have been uh, phoning each other. Just encourage each other in the Lord, and uh, soon we will gather together again. And uh, I just want to close in prayer, and I know there are some needs within our congregation, and so I just want to lift them before the Lord as we close this morning. Heavenly Father, I just want to bring our church family before you, Lord, as there is many needs, Lord, that have been expressed uh, through text or for phone calls, Lord, and I just ask, Lord, that you'll in, uh, minister to every individual need, Lord. Father, there's some that need physical healing, Lord, and some just need this encouragement. And Lord, I know this morning this word was encouraging. And so, Father, I pray it will plant uh, just hope in people's lives today. And so, Father, we just want to bless you and we want to thank you, Lord, for this opportunity that we've had to share your love and your word with these people. In Jesus' name, amen.